Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, Elena and I are drawing prompt number five for Inktober, which is Flame. I had a few different ideas for this one. Uh, one, I was gonna do this kind of flame head character, but then my daughter told me her idea, and I was like, well, we both can't do that because she had a similar idea. So I kind of shifted my idea to this kind of rallying cry, like I had an idea of somebody holding up a flame um, rallying the troops kind of scene and I decided to make it a little robot. So Elena, what was your kind of idea for your character? So one thing that I took my inspiration off of is like an X-Men character because like her fire hair um, and like... Oh, so she's kind of like a superhero? Yeah. Why is that guy running with... It's a me! <laughs> that you... you your character caught you on fire? Mm-hmm. Because hmm. I had extra time and I wanted to do something funny. Yeah, I like that. Actually, I didn't even notice that until uh, doing the voiceover, which is hilarious. Is that a little pig guy in the background? Uh, you be the cute little lion. Is It's a lion? So there's a little lion right next to her. Uh, he's like, I don't know. He has like flame fur. Flame for nice. And he's so you just kind of chunky and cute. You and ran round. with the concepts a little bit. Uh -huh. well, that's pretty cool. So you have fun doing this one. Yeah. Are you liking Inktober so far? Mhm. Mm nice. Uh, so in this part of the video, I am adding in my dark outlines to my drawing, um, and I actually really like this process. It's pretty. It's just relaxing. You don't have to think about a whole lot. I started this drawing off uh, using the fine tip pen. Uh, it's a double-sided pen I'm using, and there's kind of a brush tip on the other side. Uh, the previous uh, video, I used the brush tip first, which is kind of silly because I can add in all my little details and then do thick outlines and value shading and stuff like that with the thicker brush. Um, and it's easier to cover up those little lines. Uh, so it's a little more forgiving to use the fine tip for your initial drawing. Uh, I am using no pencil or anything, so... Whatever I put down on paper, I have to live with to some degree. I decided to take this uh, drawing a little bit further. These are still really quick. I think this one took me 45 minutes, maybe, uh, maybe an hour. I added in um, shadows and stuff like that, as you can see, using uh, these markers, uh, alcohol markers. Um, these are from Artbeak. They actually sent me these for free. Uh, I feel like they do okay. They don't have a brush tip on one end though. Um, there's a chisel tip and then a fine tip and I definitely like have to have brush tips. Um, but on the tone tan paper, I used uh, like a light blue for both of these values and it just knocks the blue down a little bit so it makes some great shadow colors. Uh, and then I just added a little bit of orange so complementary or contrasting color schemes um, with the blue and the orange. But uh, it turned out okay. It was kind of a fun little sketch. Um, I didn't do, get too crazy with detail or anything like that. Just uh, wanted to flesh out a little bit better of a drawing than um, I had previously done on for my Inktober sketch. Uh, so right here, this is the previous prompt. Um, I just had my wife film me a little bit uh, on this one. And this is Scallop. Um, and I decided to make kind of like a mermaid character emerging from a scallop so she's like a scallop mermaid or a scallop maid I don't know what you'd call it uh, but I did this one on white paper which I like going back and forth I really like ink pens on white paper they just pop a little bit more uh, the tone tan is great when I'm going to add highlights and things like that and just gives me a mid-tone to kind of work with uh, but definitely sometimes I like that contrast of the uh, the white paper the overall outcome of this drawing, I wasn't super happy with it. Um, I felt like just, I don't know, it just wasn't a great drawing. Um, I like, I'm still rusty. I definitely feel the rust of not having drawn for a little while. And this drawing, there was just some anatomical like problems with it and things like that. And I just kept at it because sometimes you just try to uh, salvage something. Um, and that's what I was doing on this one. I mean, it ends up turning out okay once I cover things up a lot. Uh, adding, kind of fixing things with that fire or that thicker brush pen can really cover up a lot of problems a drawing has. 
uh, after the fact. So I feel like I like I salvaged it pretty well, uh, especially once uh, you see me here add in the shadows um, using again like a blue, kind of like a purple, pale purple um, shadow color. I love these colors in markers for adding shadows in. So, um, but yeah, not my favorite drawing, but uh, I'm kind of using Inktober to really like uh, get back on track, kind of work my way back into doing some decent work again. So uh, anyway, uh, that's these two drawings. I'm going to be working on these all until the end of the month. Um, some of the videos are going to be videos like this, time lapses, some will be just like snippets of me drawing, and then I'll probably end up doing like, uh, some sketchbook tours at the end, just to kind of like, um, uh, finish things off, or maybe drawings that I don't get to show you guys in video form, I'll just show you the drawing, so. Anyway, uh, that's the video guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you later.